Hi, this is RP. Uh, in this video, we'll see how we are to trade tomorrow. That is 11th March 2022. Today, market opened with a gap up and almost closed the gap. So yesterday video also we discussed about how to trade the gap up open. So that we'll see next couple of minutes. Uh, before that, we'll see the broad market, how it is behaving and what are the important levels we have to watch out. See. Uh, exactly it opened uh, in a supply area price rejected from there and closed but the after closing the gap the price does not come back it went up only so now there will be a small momentum upside with a caution we can say so in the downside 16,200 will act as a good support for the coming days and 16,800 will act as a resistance for a couple of days. If closed above 16,800, we can expect this gap may be closed. That is 17,020. So this way we can plan for a positional basis. Uh, and Bank Nifty also will see. So Bank Nifty also opened with a gap up and price rejected at the higher sides and closed at 34,542. So now 33,900 will act as support and 35,720 act as a resistance for coming days. These two levels are very important. So we have to key, uh, monitor these two levels and we'll see the key level and also the range for tomorrow. So Nifty key level is 16,358 and Bank Nifty 34,640. So Nifty has closed above the key level and Bank Nifty is not at all closed above the key level. So whenever the Nifty index closes above key level, we in a positional basis, we are buying the futures and keeping a hedge position. Right. And the Nifty range is 16,000. 883 and 16,349. Bank Nifty range 35,116 to 33,968. PCR is neutral, so we need not worry about the PCR data. As per PCR data, is not at all any uh, momentum. It is expecting a consolidation, right? So any gap up or gap down, that gaps will close very early. And momentum stocks, bullish bearish stocks mentioned in the blog, you can check out the blog. So now we'll see how we have to trade tomorrow, Nifty Futures and Bank Nifty Futures. So Nifty Futures yesterday we planned, but uh, that uh, breakout levels doesn't work because the market opened huge gap up. After opening the gap up, it given a small dip and went up again. And as yesterday in video, I clearly mentioned, we had to wait until the gap closes. So almost this gap closed here. So. So th this is the gap area. So almost most of the gaps are closed here. And from here, it took a rally, right? If you observe this, this level is important at uh, 16,460. It closed almost the gap and it went up from here. Okay, this is our entry point on intraday. So we made a decent money in this. Uh, so, uh, for tomorrow, these are the levels uh, for the 7, 11th March, 16,457 and downside 16,332, right? So if the price comes in between this 16,457, so 16,457 here, okay? So almost today's low. If the price opens in between this and it any side breakout we will trade tomorrow simple trade plan for tomorrow nifty futures and we'll see the bank nifty futures also so bank nifty futures tomorrow's levels 34226 and 33965 so we'll buy above 34226 and we'll sell below 33965 the simple trade so keeping a stop loss of 0.25% and aiming for a target of 150 to 200 points in bank nifty. So the simple thing, the price should come in the zone and should break. That is our rule. As per our rule, we will trade.
tomorrow. So we'll see now two stocks for positional trading. So this is SBI, State Bank of India. So it took somewhere here. This is a support, uh, previous uh, demand area. It took decent support this area. So and given a gap up and moved up and closing today close is a kind of doji. So now we have to plan for a trade either side. The simple thing is we have to wait and watch this stock. If price tested this area, if test around 480 kind of levels, you can go for a short and keep a stop loss above 490. 10 rupees stop loss and aim for a target of closing of this gap 450 or 445 kind of levels right so and other thing other type of setup is if the price comes and closes this gap so this gap is here so if closes this gap and reversal then we can go for a entry so two type of trades we can plan for sbi one is a shorting opportunity if goes higher side what is the buying opportunity if comes to gap area around 450, 454 kind of levels and price supports from here, then we can enter and price rejects in this area, we will go for a short. Simple trade plan, you just follow certain rules, you can make money in the stock market. This is Havels India. There is an opportunity in this stock. If the price closed above today's high, then we can go for a long entry and aim for a target of 1220 here there is a supply area so we can expect a short term trading opportunity it may test around 1200 to 1215 kind of levels in coming days so our entry should be a breakout trade so a price should close above today's high right so simple trade plan in havels india two stocks one is sbi another is havels india tomorrow's video we'll see Two more stocks, how to trade in a positional. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please share it to your friends. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.